Yeah, you're, you're very quiet. Can you hear me? Much better. That's much, much better. better. So it works. Yes, it works. Uh, we're perfect. from Croatia. Oh, hang on. You're from, oh, you're Croat. Sorry, I'm talking to the wrong people. My apologies. Just one second. Uh, oh, uh, Korisni. 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 I'm just looking for you. Um, Zagreb. Zagreb. Are you Anna? Yes, my name is Anna. You cannot see me. Okay, that's fine. So I've got you. Your, so if I refer to you as Zagreb, is that so? That's Korisnik is in is Zagreb, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Brilliant. Okay. Thanks, Anna. That's lovely. Okay. Um, and okay. Um, Palestine, Gaza. Can you hear me? Hello, lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us. We're starting in just a moment. We're waiting. Okay, brilliant. Um, right, so that's uh, Gaza. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Okay. Right, okay. And Poland Bogata, can you hear me? Right, can you speak? Because I can't hear you. There's no sound. Colin Bogata, you're silent. <laughs> we're hearing noises, but we're not getting any sound apart from some strange noises. Colin Bogata, I think you need to do something with your microphone. It's going to be difficult to join in with the lesson if we can't hear you. Okay, hello, uh, Natalia. Um, where are you? Uh, Pittsburgh, yes. The teacher, the teacher Natalia Ismailova. Are you in Saint Petersburg? <laughs> yes. Can you hear me? St. Petersburg, speak to me, please. Can you hear me? Yes. You can. Excellent. That's great. Thanks very much. Okay, we're about to start in just a moment. Okay, right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Right. right, I think it's time. Excellent. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be. And thank you so much for joining us today for our Pearson and BBC live class. It's a pleasure to be with you. And we have today eight different classes online. So let's say hello, shall we? So from uh, Ternopil, Ukraine, hello. And hello to you too. From Poland, Bogata, hello. We still can't hear anything, Poland Bogata. Um, you need to do something with the microphone. Okay. Um, from uh, the next place on my list is Zagreb, Croatia. Hello. Hi, everyone. Brilliant. Okay. From Palestine, Gaza. Hello to everyone. 
Hello, thanks for joining us. That's great to see you. Okay, um, from uh, the next place is uh, from St. Petersburg in Russia. Hello to everyone. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Um, from Hungary, Orshaza. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. And from Vranja in Serbia. Hello. Hello. Oh. And last but not least from Warsaw in Poland. Hello. Hey, hello, everybody. So that's absolutely wonderful to see you all today. Thanks for joining us so we should have one two three four five six seven eight classes that's wonderful eight classes from around the world um just a couple of uh, technical things before we start um a note for the teachers um i will be controlling the sound during this lesson so i'll mute or unmute the microphone okay so uh, you don't have to do anything with it um secondly there will be parts where i'll ask the students to come to the microphone for individual exercises if you could please make sure they come close so we can hear nice and clearly all right then um, we've introduced ourselves it's time for me to introduce myself my name is rob and rob is short for robert i'm originally from the united kingdom a city called leeds in the north of England, about 300 kilometers from London. Um, Leeds is a big city, about 1 million people. And it's mostly a commercial city these days with finance and banking and insurance, and of course, lots of shopping. I don't live in Leeds. I live in a city in a country. The city is Wrocław and the country is Poland. And I've lived here for quite a long time. Wrocław's a beautiful city, uh, a population of about 750,000. And you'll be finding out more about Wrocław later on in the lesson. Um, I have lots of hobbies, um, languages, is one of my hobbies. I also enjoy write, um, reading. I enjoy writing as well, actually. Um, I enjoy walking in the mountains, listening to old music and traveling. Um, I'm a teacher, but I'm also a teacher trainer. So I visit teachers in many countries around the world um, and do training activities with them. So I'm very lucky. I've visited many, many countries both um, for pleasure and for work. In fact, I've visited a total of 67 different countries. Well, that's quite a lot, isn't it? But there are 200 countries in the world, approximately. So there are still some more to visit. All right, um, what are we going to be doing in the lesson today? Well, it is connected to what I've just mentioned. We're going to be learning a few words relating to cities and places to visit. We're going to be learning about things to see and do in a famous city. And we'll find out what that is very soon. And very importantly, I'm going to be asking you to talk to each other about things to see and do in the cities where you live. So there'll be a chance to share ideas and persuade friends other classes to come and visit. A couple of things for the students to know about. Um, you need your worksheet. Have you got your worksheets? It looks like this. Can you show me your worksheet? Yes, it looks like you've got your worksheets. That's brilliant. Okay, so you'll need your worksheet. Um, of course, with a worksheet, you'll need a pen or a pencil to write with. And last but not least, because we're going to be sharing information, you will need a partner, somebody to speak to. So that's a little bit of the background. Now, we're going to be looking at a city in a bit more detail now, a specific city. Um, I'm going to show you very slowly the different parts of this picture. As soon as you know what the city is, I'd like you to wave your hand in the air when you know what the city is. All right, so let's see who is first to recognize the city. Here we go. Oh, that's difficult. Ah, there's some water. 
Ah, any ideas? Any ideas? Some more water. Anybody recognize the city yet? Any ideas yet? If you know, remember to wave your hand in the air if you think you know the city. No? Still no? Ah, I can see in Kasha's class in Warsaw. Okay. Warsaw, what do you think it is? New York. Do you think it's New York? Shall we see? Let's find out. Okay. Um, all right, let's have another one. If you think you know, again, wave your hand. If you think it's... You recognise it. Okay, in Palestine, in Gaza, which city? New York. New York. Let's keep going, shall we? Is it New York? It is New York. Well done, yes. There it is, New York City. Well done. So I think Warsaw were first, but I'm sure many of the others also knew what the city was. So well done. That's brilliant. OK, we're going to watch a video about New York. Do you enjoy watching videos in class? Yes. Yes, videos good. All right. Well, this video will tell us something about New York City. Um, first of all, though, where is New York City? Here's another little quiz for you. Um, I'm going to say the letters, and if you think that New York is in that place, I'd like you to stand up and sit down. Okay? So stand up and sit down when I say the correct one. So if New York is A, can you stand up and sit down? Okay. If New York is B, can you stand up and sit down? Okay, there's a few people standing up and sitting down for B. If you think it's C, can you stand up and sit down? Okay, if you think it's D, can you stand up and sit down? Okay, and if you think it's E, can you stand up and sit down? Okay then, so who was right? Well, once again, it seems our stars in Warsaw were the first to recognise it. Well done. Yes, B is in fact where we'll find New York City, so very good indeed. Um, now, before we watch the video, I have a little task for you. These four places will be in the video, but the pictures are not complete. So, can you please talk to the person next to you and try to say, to guess, what each picture shows? What are these places in New York City? Um, the pictures are also on your uh, worksheet, if you want to use your worksheet instead of the screen. So, just one minute together, and when you've finished, wave your hands in the air so that I can see that you're ready. Okay, are we ready? Yes, I can see some hands in the air. I can see some hands in the air. So let's go around and see what you think. Okay, Hungary, let's start with you. What do you think number one is? Hungary. I think it's a subway. Okay, we'll find out. Thank you very much. Okay, number two. Number two. Let's go to Warsaw for number two. 
Statue of Liberty. Okay, let's find out. Okay. And number three, let's go to St. Petersburg. Okay. And last but not least, for number four, um, Poland Bogata. Is your microphone working? No. We still have no sound from you. Okay. All right. Let's try um, Zagreb for number four. Central Park. We've got Central Park. Should we see if you're right? Let's watch the video. Were your guesses correct? New York City is located here in the state of New York in the USA. It's America's biggest and busiest city. The city has a population of over 8.5 million people. People who live here come from all around the world. There are over 800 different languages spoken by people in the city. New York is a crowded city. The subway is the most popular way to get around, and it's always busy. In fact, 4.3 million people use it every day. What are the biggest cities in your country? Now, let's find out more about New York. New York City is a great place for tourists. There are so many famous landmarks to visit. This is the Statue of Liberty. The statue was a present given to America by France in 1886. You can climb to the top of it, but it's not easy. There are 354 steps. One of the most famous buildings in New York is the Empire State Building. It was completed in 1931 and is 102 stories high. It was the world's tallest building for over 40 years. You can see this building in many Hollywood films like King Kong or Superman. Did you know that in New York there's a lot of green space too? This is Central Park in Manhattan. It's four kilometers long and 800 meters wide. It's so big that the lampposts are numbered to help the visitors find their way around. There's a lot to do in the park. You can have lunch at one of the restaurants, play sports with friends, spend the afternoon boating, and even visit a castle. It was great to find out more about New York City. Okay, there's our video about New York. So, were you right? I'm sure you were, but let's very quickly check what the answers, in fact, were. So, let's go to uh, Vranya. Vranya, number one was... Subway. Subway, very good, yes. Is there a subway in uh, Vranya? No subway in Vranya. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two. Let's go to Gaza for number two. What have you got for number two? Well done indeed. Yes, it was the Statue of Liberty. Excellent. That's good. Okay. Number three. Um, let's go to... Now, let's see if Bogata's microphone's working. Hello, Bogata. Your microphone working? No, I'm sorry, we still can't hear anything. Okay, um, let's go to Ternopil, to Ukraine, for number three. That's, yes, number three. Empire State. Empire State, well done indeed, yes, perfect. Um, and last but not least, I can see at the bottom of my screen there, we've got uh, Zagreb waiting with the answer for number four. Central Park. Central Park, very good. You've got a very good microphone there. It's very clear. 
<laughs> Excellent. Central Park it was. All right then. Um, now in the video there was an, an, uh, there were some useful words, there was some vocabulary. Some of this for some of you will be very easy, for some of you it will be a bit more challenging, okay? So on the left you can see there are six words or expressions and on the right there are seven different meanings. So work together with the person next to you and I want you to match the words with the meanings. So remember on the right there is one extra meaning that you don't need. All right. So how long do you want to do this? How many minutes do you need? How many minutes do you need Zagreb? Two minutes. Right, two minutes it is. All right, Zagreb decided it's two minutes. When you're ready, wave your hands in the air so I can see you finished. Okay, I can see some hands in the air uh, in Ukraine and in Croatia and in Hungary. Ah, in fact, all over the world. Hands in the air. Fantastic. All right, then. So let's, uh, let's start in Ukraine then. Let's go to uh, Ternopil for the first one. Population. Uh, exactly, perfect. Yeah. What's the population where you live? Okay, so not small, but not big. Somewhere in the middle. Excellent, thank you. All right, um, let's try Warsaw for the next one. Uh, get around Warsaw. Number two. To travel in the city. To travel in the city is correct. Very good. Yeah. How do you get around in Warsaw? How do you? How do you get around in Warsaw? Bus. No, 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 just no, no, listen to my question. Listen to my question. How do you get around in Warsaw? By bus? Uh, maybe by... Uh, <laughs> by bus? Yeah. <laughs> by metro, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Well done. Good. Okay, let's go to Hungary. Um, to uh, Orashaza for number three. Hello, for the Hungary. Healthy or busy? Where there are lots of people. Very good indeed, yes, good. Is um, Orashaza crowded and busy? No, no. Not really. Oh, it's a, is it a small place? Yes. yes. Oh, good. All right, thank you. All right, um, to Palestine, to Gaza for the next one, a landmark. A landmark. No, no, landmark. Landmark is a famous or important building or place. So an important building. So in London, Big Ben is a landmark, for example. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Let's uh, let's move on to uh, uh, where are we going next? Let's go to Natalia's class in St Petersburg for number five. Uh, yeah, view is what you can see. So, is there a good view in your class? 
can you please repeat your question? Of course, yes. Is there a good view from your classroom? Not, no. no, not really. Oh, not to worry. But I know in St. Petersburg there are some great places. Some great places. Okay, okay, okay. Right. We've got, okay. Oh, should we let Palestine have another go? Okay. We have a hand up in Gaza for to climb number six. To go to say again. Yeah, it's to go up something, so you maybe climb the stairs or climb to the top of the building. Yeah, good. Okay, so here are our answers, and the one that we didn't use is to walk quickly. That's a different one. Okay, brilliant. So useful expressions if we're talking about cities, places where we live, which we will be doing very soon. But we're going to watch the New York video one more time, first of all, and I have a question for you. Would you like to visit New York? Maybe you've already visited New York. I don't know. But would you like to visit it? Would you like to visit it again? Why? Or why not? Let's watch one more time. New York City is located here in the state of New York in the USA. It's America's biggest and busiest city. The city has a population of over 8.5 million people. The people who live here come from all around the world. There are over 800 different languages spoken by people in the city. New York is a crowded city. The subway is the most popular way to get around, and it's always busy. In fact, 4.3 million people use it every day. What are the biggest cities in your country? Now, let's find out more about New York. New York City is a great place for tourists. There are so many famous landmarks to visit. This is the Statue of Liberty. The statue was a present given to America by France in 1886. You can climb to the top of it, but it's not easy. There are 354 steps. One of the most famous buildings in New York is the Empire State Building. It was completed in 1931 and is 102 stories high. It was the world's tallest building for over 40 years. You can see this building in many Hollywood films like King Kong or Superman. Did you know that in New York there's a lot of green space too? This is Central Park in Manhattan. It's four kilometers long and 800 meters wide. It's so big that the lampposts are numbered to help the visitors find their way around. There's a lot to do in the park. You can have lunch at one of the restaurants, play sports with friends, spend the afternoon boating, and even visit a castle. It was great to find out more about New York City. All right, so New York once again. Um, my question was this one. Would you like to visit New York? In a minute, I'll ask you to tell somebody sitting next to you. You could say, for example, I would like to visit New York because I want to see the Statue of Liberty and go shopping, maybe. Or you could say, I wouldn't like to visit New York because it's too crowded or maybe it's dangerous. So you decide and with the person next to you, just for one minute, tell them what you think. Off you go.
Okay, so what did you think? Let's find out. Um, I wonder if Poland Bogata, is your microphone working yet? Poland Bogata, can we hear you? No, I can see you, you're waving, but we can't hear anything. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's go instead to Ternopil. Ternopil. If you'd like to visit New York, why or why not? So you would like to visit New York? Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. Um, Hungary, or Russia? You're, you're waving and going crazy. So let's see. What do you think? Do you want to visit New York? Uh, yes, of course, because I would like to practice my English, and I want to see the view from the top of Empire State Building. Wonderful. That sounds a good answer to me. I would like to visit New York because I want to see a concert in Central. Uh, we don't hear you. We can't hear you. You can hear me now, though, can't you? Sorry about that. Uh, St. Petersburg, would you like to visit New York? Uh, I wouldn't like to visit New York because it is a very big city, and so there are a lot of people. 